Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is a Halloween themed video for you. These are really easy things that you can do with your kids over Halloween. They're just fun activities or really easy treats that you can do with them. So here goes. Our first one are these giant spider balloons. These are brilliant for decorating your house. So for this one, we have some black card, some sticky balloon glue dots, some black balloons, we've got a piece of paper, white paper, and a Sharpie pen. I blew up two black balloons and tied them together. This, as you can see, one balloon is slightly smaller than the other, which will be the head. And then I'm using some glue dots to just position the spider's head where I want it to be and stick the balloons together a little bit more. For the legs, we just cut strips of black card, folded it back and forth to give us some wiggly legs and stuck them to our spider with some more glue dots. Then just cut circles out of the white paper and put a black dot on for the eyes. Just put another glue dot on. Olivia, going to stick his eye on? Careful, it's all sticky. And when they are done, they will look something like this. I did tie some black cotton round owls and the kids loved playing with them and running with them around the house or you could hang them up somewhere as decoration for Halloween. If you're not going out trick or treating this year then you could do a spooky Halloween dinner and dessert instead. For this one I used some orange peppers but cut them out as if they were pumpkins. I still cut the tops off them and scooped out the middle and that way I could fill it with our dinner. I was doing a spaghetti bolognese so I filled the pepper with our bolognese sauce and served it on a plate of spaghetti. I added a few spiders just for special effect and we had a spooky bolognese dinner. For dessert we had mud worm pie. This is so quick and easy but the kids loved it. All you need is Oreo cookies. We use Alpro chocolate desserts um, or you could use chocolate yogurts or chocolate delight and some jelly snakes. Just twist your Oreos in half, scrape out the middle and then crumble it up to make your mud. Just add your worms, sprinkle on your mud and serve. <gasps> A nice simple one is to do some Halloween colouring in. I actually went onto Google and typed in Halloween colouring pages and quite a few free printables come up. I did also find some on the Crayola website that were good to print off too, but it was a nice quiet activity to do with the kids. You could try and make lunch a little bit spooky as well. We made these spooky spider sandwiches. Using a cookie cutter, cut your sandwiches into circles. We used pretzel sticks for the spider's legs. Our sandwiches were peanut butter and jam, which helped hold the legs in place, but you could do any sandwich. And then I used these edible eyes that I got from the supermarket for the spider's face. And then I used a little satsuma to look like a pumpkin and just added a little bit of celery on the top for the pumpkin stalk. And that is our finished spider sandwiches. The kids love them. The next one is chocolate apple spiders. So apple makes it a little bit healthy. These were really fun, but also very messy. <laughs> so we've got some Granny Yay. Smith apples, some edible eyes, pret stick stick, pret pretzel stick. Yes. Hello. Hello. <laughs> uh, chocolate, Hello. non stick baking paper. Hello. Hello. And some skewers. You want to cut your apple into slices about one centimeter thick and then add your skewer to the bottom. Using a skewer, add four holes to the side of your apple. Just give them a wiggle to make enough room for you to add a pretzel stick in for the spider's legs. Then you need to melt your chocolate of choice. I find the easiest way to do this is to put it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time. Take it out, stir it and put it back in and just keep doing that till it's melted. And then you have the fun job of pouring it on your apples. 
And then when they're covered both sides, add the eyes, and then you can either put them in the freezer for a few minutes or in the fridge to chill until you are ready to eat. This next one is really easy. You just need some paper cups, balloons, pom-poms, and a pair of scissors. So you just wanna start with your paper cup and you need to push the bottom of it out. You might need a pair of scissors to get it going. Once you've done, there you go. And with your balloon, you wanna tie a knot in the end. And then you just wanna cut the very top off your balloon and you're going to place your balloon over the top and then then that gives you a pom-pom popper to play with This one went down a tree. We made marshmallow chocolate bats and fruit ghosts. For the ghost skewers, I just loaded on marshmallows, fruit of your choice, and then using a black writing icing pen, I just drew on a little ghost face and that was them done, nice and simple. For the elf bats, you need marshmallows, skewers, Oreos, black icing and chocolate. For this one, I'm actually gonna try this vegan chocolate to melt instead. For the bat wings, twist your Oreos in half and scrape out the middle. Then you need to carefully try and cut them in half. I found the best way of doing this was to use a really sharp knife and kind of saw the biscuit in half. Then the fun bit is to add your marshmallow to the melted chocolate or eat it like my kids did and add on your edible eyes. Then you just lay your marshmallows onto your Oreo cookies on a baking sheet and then use your icing for their mouth. Pop them in the fridge and then they will look something like this. So for this one, we need some leaves, some glue. We've got some tea lights. These are the battery operated ones and a couple of little jars. These were just mason jars from Wilco's. All we did is simply glue our leaves onto our glass jar. Like if there's anything in to do with glue, kids generally love it. <laughs> I did find the leaves didn't want to stick that great and I found the smaller leaves work better or if you rip the leaves into smaller pieces. It could also work if you used a bit of tissue paper um, instead, but I love the effect that the leaves give. Then we just left our jars to dry, which took a while because my kids used a lot of glue. <laughs> but you can see when they're done, they looked really great once we added our tea lights to them. Next is a pumpkin sun catcher. I just drew a pumpkin shape on sticky back paper and then all you need is some tissue paper. So when it's cut out and you peel the backing off, you have a nice sticky pumpkin which the kids can decorate with the tissue paper and you have no mess. And when you've covered everything, you have something that looks like this. Lift it up. Let's see. <laughs> wow. And then look, if you put it on the window, looks good, doesn't it? Because of COVID, we're doing trick or treating a little bit differently this year. So we're making these trick or treat balloons. The kids really wanted to do trick or treating and to dress up, but we don't really want to knock on sort of strangers' houses. So we're just going to knock on the doors of grandparents and cousins. But we thought as no one's really going out, we'd also maybe drop off some treats. And as you can see, we've got our treats in the balloons. All I did is stretch the balloon enough to put a couple of little treats inside and then blow the balloon up. Once it's blown up, you can then draw on a pumpkin face. And for the stalk on the top, I just cut some pipe cleaners in half and twisted that round the top of the balloon. And there we go. We just thought this would be a really cute way to drop off some treats for Ralph's little cousins. And it's going to be fun for them to have to pop it to get to their treat inside. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and I hope you all have a lovely Halloween. See you later. Bye.